Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Today's tutorial focuses on integrating Figma with Android Studio in 2023. Figma has become a go-to platform for UI and UX design. And connecting it with Android Studio streamlines the development process. Join me as I demonstrate the step-by-step -step to link Figma with Android Studio. So guys, without further talking, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So, the first thing guys, is to head up to developer.android.com slash studio and basically download the software. And for those who are here for learning purposes who doesn't know what is under studio, it is basically uh, a tool that will help you to develop Android apps. Basically, you have a screen on the left where you code, on the right you can see literally the code that you are coding. So you can see it as design, as frames, and as anything that you are making. It will be uh, like a layout emperor in the right. As you can see in this image in the middle. So here we have the code on the left, and on the right we have the design. Well, now you might ask me this question. How can I integrate Figma with Android Studio Code? And what are the purposes? So normally when you are using Studio Code, you are developing a design or you are making a design into a real uh, like app. But when you come to integrate the Android Studio, you can literally uh, make it in a second. So making a design and developing the design, making it as an app, can be really hard. Especially like for designers, it's pretty easy to design that, put that here, makes it look good. But when it comes to developing it and make it as a code and scripting it, it can be really, really challenging. But with this tutorial, guys, you can literally make it within a second. So here I have this article from uh, Figma themselves, so you have to get an account on Figma so you can get the access to this article. So here, how to convert Figma to an Android Studio Code application. So, are you spending too much time building UI, having a hard time reducing the inconsistency between design and development? Don't have time to get up to speed with Jetpack Compose, AppSpeed's Figma plugin can help you so you can quickly translates your Figma UI element to secure production-ready code. What sets us apart is that the code we generate is as if you have another developer working with you. Aspid uses the right UI constructs based on characteristics of the UI elements, relationship with elements around it and generates secure optimized code that can be imported into your application. Since you control the code, make any additional modifications as needed, their mission is to help individuals and teams build faster and use their and use their valuable time creating unique value instead. How does it basically work? So, step one, install the plugin. Step two, open your Figma file, right-click on the workspace and choose app speed from your list of plugins. Select the component on your screen you want to translate. Upload the type of element from our drop-down list, click Generate, copy to clipboard to copy the code into your EDE. Best practices, so Figma components enable you to create elements you can reuse across your designs. They help to create and manage consistent design across your projects. Use AppSpeed's Figma plugin to select and translate those reusable elements that can be used to build your UI quickly and in a constant manner. So guys, now I will show you how to do it in real time. So let's, we'll, we will basically uh, try to do all of these steps together. First of all, click on this button, which is opening. Now select one of your UI designs that you have made. So let's open this one in my case. And here I am. Now what's next? Simply now I'm going to go to design mode and now all I'm going to do is app speed converts Figma to Android and I will click on run. Basically now 
it will appear a screen for us so you just have to wait a little bit but you need to at least select a layer so let me select for example these layers and now I'm going to click again click on it let me just wait uh, it's taken a little bit of time to load so sorry guys uh, my internet just have gone so now let's do the same thing let's run it loading convert figma and here it is as you can see on the right it is working and literally this is basically it so now we need to log in to the app speed app so we try without logging in and now as you can see on the right pick your design system let's choose for example Material design 3 uh, let's keep it as it is and generate and there you have it this is literally what you want basically a rectangle and here are its uh, like uh, specifics uh, this like uh, details so here like the width it is 456 469 the background color is white as you can see the selected background is white uh, let's try to select for example this uh, rectangle which is rectangle number two so click on it let me just click first let me just uh, do it like that here we go generate and as you can see the color has been changed the rectangle is changing even the corner as you can see the corner shape is three so rounded corner shape as you can see because I don't have like a real rectangle it is kind of it has like kind of like circular edges as you can see here so they are even adding this detail to the code itself so literally now any kind of ui slash ux that you can see you literally can just use it in figma put it there design it take your time with it and don't worry about the development process because literally you can use all of these tools to actually take them from design perspective into a real script in a second of your time so it will not take any time to actually add take the advantage of this free tool that you have in figma and turn your designs into a real app on android as you could see guys it is very very easily we have followed this step by step it is a very 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 easy thing to follow and yeah guys that was basically it this is how you could use figma with the android studio so now all what matters is generate the code copy it and simply go ahead and paste it on this left side bar as you can see and you will literally find the figma design on the right here so everything is ready to go now you can now go ahead and take your whole time designing and making everything that you put it into a design comes to life as a real android app so that was it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you do have any more questions make sure to leave them down below in the comment section leave a like and subscribe thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial